Hey there guys, welcome back to another business video. Today, look at us. Um, I'm going to give one challenge. We are looking at Kyle is famous. The third episode. Uh, what's this? I don't know. We'll check it out later. Let's check all the So, good interview. No food, no clothes. Died. Had amnesia. Gossip. Time travel. Lard. <laughs> Lizard demon. Lizard demon too. And... Oh, wait. There's a special Christmas thing also um guys uh, um i'm not buying the dlc for this game okay sorry sorry oh we threw away shots get out of bed anyway so let's scavenge um let's um i don't know resources call began to comb through the damp pile of filth mold on his floor in search of helpful items after finding a uh, finding and eating a few bits of crumbs and all cheese, eh, Kyle found something much more important. Indeed, it was the corpse of Harry, a friend that had gone missing years ago, while at Kyle's house. Kyle was glad to see him again, but was unsure of whether to interrupt such an important day with Harry's business. I'm going to deal with him because I have nothing else to do. Uh, Kyle hoisted Harry onto his shoulder and took him outside. Kyle began dragging Harry's body down the street, drawing many, many stairs. Kyle knew exactly where he needed to take Harry's clubs, corpse on a lovely play date, just the two of them. Kyle and Harry started at the arcade. Kyle used Harry's arms to operate the joysticks and push buttons. After five to five or six uh, different games, our two friends had enough tickets for a single candy bar. They took their prize to the local park for eating. Kyle tried to feed some of the chocolate bar to Harry, but Harry seemed to not have an appetite. Kyle, after eating, Kyle noticed a nearby playground. He dragged Harry over. Kyle tried to figure out a way to swing Harry on the swing set, but lacking the ability to grip, Harry kept falling up. Instead of Kyle's, instead, Kyle started to lug Harry to the top of the slide and shove him down time and time again. Finally, Kyle took Harry to the movies to see as many popular films as the pocket change allowed. Uh, quickly found that he had no pocket chain, so he searched through Harry's cops until he found his wallet. Kyle brought, uh, bought two tickets to a love romance. After getting inside, Kyle left Harry to go find a restroom. By the time Kyle had finished using the restroom, he had forgotten that he brought Harry along. Kyle watched a love romance by himself. Harry's corpse sat on a bench in the atrium. While Kyle was in a movie, a beautiful thing happened. Harry's corpse, imbued with power of friendship and love, was reanimated. Harry's old rotten flesh gained color and life. His fingernails regrew. His missing eye came back. By the time the movie was over, Harry was able to greet Kyle with a large, friendly hug at his old self. Kyle was confused but delighted that his long lost friend met him on his way out of the theatre. The two made plans to get drinks together and parted ways for the day. I returned home forgetting about the interview with Rachel. Kyle had a friend. Wait, let's reset. Okay, so I'm going to do um, Steel Check in Techno Gym. Uh, I think that's the ending. So it's the bit. Uh, open closet uh, where anything I don't show okay. So and then exit hallway. Just move to kitchen. Just to eat anything. Okay. Um. Seems like I have got to eat something somehow. Okay. So visit tech store. Steel technogen. Yes. Okay. Steel technogen. Quickly before the attendant could acknowledge him, I'll grab technogen by the shoulders. Finding that Technogem's cardboard feet were bolted to the ground, Kyle started to pull upward forcefully. After several tugs, Technogem broke free, leaving one foot and one leg behind. 
Carl glanced at the attendant, who was staring bewildered, and ran outside. Continue with the day. Carl walked into the middle of the road. Okay. So, back, guys. Please watch the previous video. Uh, the link should be in the end of the video, or here, uh, or there might be an eye icon over there. Click it. You might find uh, the video. So, good evening, Carl. Uh, good evening, Carl. She said. Look at him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Interview Techno Gym instead. Carl roughly shoved Rich out of her seat and placed Techno Gym in, in her steed. Stead. Hello, Techno Gym, said Carl. I'm going to interview today. Carl grasped Techno Gym's hand and, it tried, and tried to shake it, but instead tore it off. The car tore it off the cardboard frame. Kyle's producer, sent viral media, pulled the bewildered Rachel out of the frame and motioned the crew to go live. That's a... I can relate to that producer. Yeah, just do anything that will make money. Cameraman moved, lights flashed, and suddenly the studio was on air. Hi, I'm Kyle, said Kyle, and tonight I'm going to be interviewing a very special guest. He pointed at Technogym using the dismembered arm. Technogym started to smoke from heat of the light. So, would you like to introduce yourself? Asked Carl. Knowing Jim would probably not speak, Carl took it upon himself to be his voice as well. Hey, hi, Kyle. He said, raising the pitch of his voice. Uh, my name is Rachel May, and I'm a very special guest. Rachel's, Rachel's expression of confusion turned to shock. Well, Rachel, you look way too thin and absolutely terrible, and you should feel ugly. So gave Jim a meaningful stare. Wow, Carl, he said. I sure wish I could look like you. Techno Jim boasted to Pipes. Instantaneously, the sprinkler system initiated. Curtains of water poured down from the rafters. Within seconds, the production equipment was doused in water. The set was soon a burst with electrical fires. Carl's crew abandoned their posts as cameramen and sound mixers to try to put the fires out. As the crew scrambled around, the cameras continued to run. Kyle sat, motionless, staring forward. Eventually, the fires were all put out. Kyle's pro producers shut off the broadcast, leaving Kyle vacant stare at the final film. <laughs> Kyle ratings skyrocketed. Technogym became a staple of the show, often ending up destroyed by the end of each episode. Although Rachel did not come back on the show, her cardboard for prayers did. Rachel was very popular. Cal interviewed Rachel. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is be unprepared and do one of the options. So guys, what I'm going to do is talk to the neighbor. I've just heard the gossip and not done anything else. And uh, come unprepared to the interview. I don't really care what I eat and do. <laughs> well, I accidentally eat. Oh, the suit of armor. Okay, this is downstairs neighbor. Carl approached his downstairs neighbor door, neighbor's door and knocked. A middle-aged woman named Gabby answered the door. She looked at Carl ex expectantly. Um, greet and start conversation. Consume Gabby. Scream and spin. I'm a consumer. Because I haven't had it. No, I had one. Uh, sorry, Gabby, I over it. Over my like, Cal really bit by two or three calories. Sorry. Cal unhinged his jaw and swallowed Gabby whole. Job done, Cal returned to the middle of the street. Back to our way. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be Gabby? That's the like logo of the whole game. It's not Cal, guys. Theory confirmed. In shock, Carl realized he had never bothered to prepare any notes for the interview. Knowing that he had eyes of millions upon him, Carl came up with a solu solution quickly. Uh, I played dead last time. I'm going to run away. 
Kyle ejected from his seat and ran out of the studio as quickly as possible. After it became apparent that Kyle was not coming back, the producer ended the episode and everyone went home. Mm-hmm. Kyle prepared by running away. <laughs> well, that yeah, was a small win. But still, guys, that is the quota for each episode. Three endings. So, we are really close to getting all of them and I'm not getting the DLC I wanted. I want it to so we did techno jump, we ran away and we helped Harry. Well guys, that's it for the video. Remember guys, still to hit that notification bell by su- pressing that subscribe button. If you subscribe, uh, that will be best for me and you. And if you press that notification bell, you will be able to get all and much funnier videos than these. So guys, and remember to push that like button if you like the video. And guys, share the video with your friends if you want them to be happy also. Till then guys, bye.